What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Just got to the game store. We're not gonna be open for another 10 or 15 minutes, but um, I just wanted to start the vlog because someone's bringing in something really, really cool today. And of course, it's not something that's gonna be for sale and you'll understand why. Uh, but basically, in yesterday's vlog, I showed you that big PlayStation logo thing. It's basically like a piece of plexiglass with the with the logo printed on some sort of paper which is attached to the back of it um it's definitely old because it has a bunch of cracks and it's you know it's had tape on it for a long time you can tell um but the guy that brought that in also has a smaller uh, playstation sign it's a ps1 sign and it's official because he originally sent me pictures of that asking if i knew anything about it and it's a sign that I've never seen before, but it did have like the PlayStation, um, like the Sony serial number and stuff on the back with the sticker. So it's definitely a legit sign. And when he came in yesterday, I was like, hey, do you want to sell that sign? Because I'm definitely interested. Because originally he told me, he's like, hey, I got this sign. I wanted to see if you had any info on it. I'm not selling it. I want to keep it. And I was like, okay. When I, you know, I told him what I could, which isn't much. I told him it looks official. Um, I told him I've never seen that one before, but it is pretty small. So I feel like the the size of it, because it is so small, could probably decrease the value because it's a smaller sign. But also the fact that I've never seen it before and it might be a more uncommon or rare sign might increase the price. So don't really know exactly what it's worth. Um, I know what I've paid for other PlayStation signs before. So I assume it's somewhere around there, maybe slightly more. But when he came in yesterday and sold or traded, sold that other PlayStation thing, I made him an offer on the other sign because he was looking at this Sega CD that we have here. It was on the back counter and he's like, oh, is that for sale? And I was like, yeah, it is. We have the, the Sega CD, the Genesis Model 2 and the 32X, all the cables and everything. They're all separate, but, you know, they're all available and he's like, well, I'm kind of interested in the in the Sega CD. How much is it? And it's $149.99 because it has all the cables and it fully works and everything. And he's like, okay, I might, you know, I might try to get the money and come back for that. And then I was like, well, I'll trade you the Sega CD, the Genesis, and the 32X just for the sign. And he kind of like laughed it off and was like, oh, it's you know not a bad offer, but I don't, I'll probably hold on to the sign, blah blah blah. Then this morning. I got a message from him that said he's going to take that offer. So that means he'll be bringing in that sign for me today and we'll be trading for those Sega systems, which is super awesome. And that sign will definitely be going into my collection. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the Sega stuff from the store and then I'm going to trade them to him for the sign. So I'm very excited about that and it's going to be later today in this vlog. Hopefully, he said he's coming, so we'll see what happens, but I'm going to eat some food real quick before we gotta open here and then get the day started. Number two. Why did you do number two? What did you do? Because. You didn't have to. I suppose you just didn't duct tape it all. You would have too, wouldn't you? That's cool. Thank you. Mega Man X and X2 collections. Or what are they? X Legacy? Yeah, it's... It's all, all the Mega Man X games. Thank you. All in one. You didn't have to, but thank you. Well, since you got the Switch now... You yeah. need a game too, not just your kids. That's pretty cool. It's like they're eight. choosing between this and they have another Mega Man collection where it's just Mega Man one through ten. But I thought the X ones would be better, cooler. Yeah, like they're all good games, of course. But I thought like maybe if if someone else got you the Mega Man collection, they'd probably get the other one. So I got this one to be safe. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Richard's working on the pinball. Yes, sir. Should it have come up? What's that? Should it have come on? Yeah, it should have, probably. So it's probably a ground issue then. Dang. Yeah, but all the fuses check out, so. So what else can you do? I'll probably have to open up the uh, back of the, the panel board. Oh man. Because even this one right here mm -hmm. is out. Yeah, I'm thinking they're all in the same circuit, so. Dang. We'll get her done. Richard, Richard. Hello. And this one is for Aaron. Cool. Thank you guys. That's awesome. Do I want to ask where you found this? The store? At the store. <laughs> It's super cool though. That is cool, thank you. I was trying to find like something anime related because mm -hmm. I know that you like anime a lot, but I do. we couldn't really find anything that was like good mm -hmm. enough. <laughs> like I didn't want to get you like a pop figure or something stupid, so. I love Final Fantasy, that is why I'm buying this. <laughs> yeah, I thought Sweet. that was pretty cool. cool. It's, it's nice and thick too, it's not like a little, it's not like magazine type thing, you know, like this is like a, a legit coffee table book. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So we've been extremely busy today, guys. It is the last Saturday before Christmas, of course. Um, so as expected, a lot of people are coming in and buying some last minute gifts. Uh, we have four trade-ins to show you here. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we will take a look. There's some awesome stuff. So these are the first three, well, the last three. Um, then we got this one. We'll start here. This is from my buddy David, mostly stuff that he's found at the outlet. So there was also a bunch of empty cases, which I already put on here, but like these were part of it. So we have Croc 2, Tetris Plus, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid, Qbert, Final Fantasy 9, whoops, Final Fantasy 8, and the manual just slipped out, and then Black Label, Final Fantasy VII, NBA Street, Volume 2 for the GameCube. This one was disc only, but we had the case on the wall there. And then another N64 VHS, and then some NES manuals that he just like had in his garage. A couple of these didn't have covers, like that one. There's a golf one here. This Spy vs. Spy is like coming apart. Um, and then Bugs Bunny, sorry Duck Hunt. This one is Dragon Warrior, but it's missing the cover. Uh, so that was the first trade. What? I wonder how long that was doing that. Let's put that back. <laughs> um, he also brought this empty case and manual, and we actually had just put this out the other day, but it's a Hollywood video case, so this was technically disc only. And I price it down because of that, but now it's a complete copy, so it's glass case worthy once we switch it. There's also this Chrono Trigger case, which Josh begged for. I did not beg. I asked <laughs> if it was for sale, and he said, just keep it. He has the game already, so just gave him the case there. So then we have this trade here. We have a 32 gig black Wii U system with the gamepad, has like this Mario Kart case on it. A um, couple Skylander and Disney Infinity portals. There was one Skylander and one Disney Infinity figure, which we put out. Cables here. And then these games, Mario Party 9 being the best out of the bunch. But uh, this kid and his mom have been in a few times to trade some stuff in. Um, he was saving up for a Switch, which I kind of feel like his mom's just going to get him for Christmas or something, or maybe get him games for it. So... They traded this stuff in, uh, took cash, and I think they're going to be using that money to put towards the Switch and or Switch games. Then we have four Lord of the Rings figures here. And these are fairly cheap. We're going to price these at five bucks each, but still pretty cool. And then we have these N64 games here, which is obviously the best of the bunch. There's two Donkey Kongs. And the guy that traded these in is the guy who traded in the 360 PS2 games a few weeks ago. 
So I told him, like, if you have anything else, bring them in. And he came in today and brought these. So super awesome. We're completely out of Banjo-Kazooie, Diddy Kong, Mario, 60, or Mario Party, and Smash Brothers. And I don't think we had, like, some of these ones or Glover. We have a Shadow Gate, but it's with the box. So that one will be a little cheaper for anyone who wants it. And we only had one Majora's Mask, and it was the non-collector's edition. So that's a different version there. Awesome stuff. It's been super busy, like I said, so I better stop vlogging before more customers come in. Um, one more thing, though. Uh, Richard has been trying to help fix the Pink Panther pinball machine. The scoreboard has not been working for some time. He's going to be coming back later tonight to uh, give me my Christmas gift. Abby's going to be coming later today as well. She's hanging out with her parents today to celebrate her birthday since she was with me here yesterday. Um, so she's going to come back. Richard's going to come back, and he's, you know, we, we, like, took this thing apart, lifted up the table, and we found uh, some more fuses underneath the board, and one of them was dead. So he's already replaced one dead fuse. Which Well, let me see them. Richard's wife made these. Very cool. What are they again? It's uh, garnet and some other natural stones. <sighs> so, oh. Cooper, I found what I thought was a perfect present for you, but I took it back and, and found you something better. Um, Gotta open it now. So this is something that'll help you at PRGE when you get a lot of busy customers. So <laughs> go ahead and open that up. Just I don't want to ruin the wrap. Just oh my god, Cooper, come on. Just open it. Yeah, that's good. So, so show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your hands free while you're over uh, selling games. <laughs> now you can keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, like, giving a presentation, reading off the teleprompter. It's so funny. But go ahead and open it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have really done that to you. <laughs> it's an Oregon Trail shirt. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. pretty cool. <laughs> Gotta wear it tomorrow. You have died of dysentery. <laughs> we were just watching the... There's a, an American Dad episode we just watched where it's like all Oregon Trail. <laughs> That's They're perfect. making fun of it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you like your present? Yes. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's so funny. This is a meme I sent Richard earlier from the shirt. <laughs> well, guys, it's closing time, and Abby and I are going to be heading home. Abby has her partially royal sweatshirt. <laughs> He's a YouTuber that we like to watch sometimes. Um, not all the time. We used to watch way more till we opened the store. But we're going to be heading what home. No, you cannot touch. You can't touch it. I'm serious. You can't touch it. It's a Christmas gift for Abby, and she can't touch it because I don't want her to get any clues. You have to wait just a couple more days. It's almost Christmas. No, I'm not. After you. I'm serious. This is like your number one main gift, and I don't want you messing with it. <sighs> so we're heading home. I love you. I love you.